Good afternoon and welcome to our Lever service for our Year 6 pupils. Today we gather, perhaps in an unusual way, but we come together as a year group to remember all that we have done together and to celebrate those moments in the last few years which have helped us to grow. I am grateful to all of you who play a part in our service today, particularly our readers and those of you involved in our music as well. And so let's begin our service this afternoon with our opening hymn, Give me joy in my heart, keep me praising. We have two readings this afternoon. The first is a poem, Always Have a Dream. The poem invites us not to dwell on those things which have perhaps not always gone according to plan, but to hold on to the great moments which have inspired and encouraged us, times when we have experienced great love. Let's hear the reading now read to us by Jay. Forget about the days when it's been cloudy, but don't forget your hours in the sun. Forget about the times you've been defeated, but don't forget about the victories you've won. Forget about the mistakes that you cannot change now, but don't forget the lessons you have learnt. Forget the misfortunes you've encountered, but don't forget the times your luck has turned. Forget about the days when you've been lonely, but don't forget the friendly smiles you've seen. Forget about the plans that didn't seem to work out right, but don't forget to always have a dream. Our second song this afternoon is our Lever song which we have sung for a number of years now. It's become very much part of our service. And so we hear our Lever song sung now.
Our second reading is taken from the Bible. Jesus tells us two short stories or parables, one about a lost sheep, the other about a lost coin. Let's hear this read for us now by Olivia Bow, by Eva and by Rosanna. One day, when many tax collectors and other outcasts came to listen to Jesus, the Pharisees and the teachers of the law started grumbling. This man welcomes outcasts and even eats with them, so Jesus told them this parable. Suppose you have a hundred sheep and lose one of them. What do you do? You leave the other 99 sheep in the pasture and go looking for the one that you lost until you find it. When you find it, you are so happy that you put it on your shoulders and carry it back home. Then you call your friends and neighbours together and say, I am so happy I found our lost sheep. Let us celebrate. Or suppose a woman who has 10 silver coins loses one of them. What does she do? She lights a lamp, sweeps her house, and looks carefully everywhere until she finds it. When she finds it, she calls her friends and neighbours together and says to them, I'm so happy I found the coin I lost. Let us celebrate. Thanks be to God. This term you'll know that we've been looking at community, and I've been sharing some of my favourite Pixar clips with you as we've thought about this each week. This afternoon, I'd like to invite you to think about another clip, which I think is a very, very important one. And I say this because I think it tells us perhaps the most important thing about life. And we've heard something about this in our Bible reading this afternoon. In both stories in the Bible, Jesus talks about things being lost and the efforts that the shepherd and the woman go to find the lost sheep and the lost coin. Jesus was really talking about people though, the stories remind us of something very important. They remind us that we are all of great worth and loved by God. Loved so much that he looks for us to bring us home to him, even when we might feel lost and alone. Which brings me to my film clip today from Toy Story 1. It all begins in Sid's house. Woody has gone there to rescue Buzz and Buzz feels pretty low. He's discovered that he's not a space ranger, but simply a toy. He's hit what we might call rock bottom. Woody's trapped in a cart and he cannot help, and Buzz is strapped to a rocket, ready to be launched from the garden. Things are not looking good. Woody urges Buzz to help him out of the cart so they can both get free, but Buzz refuses to move. He believes he's of no use. He cannot help anyone. We might say he's rather lost. But Woody perseveres. He starts reminding Buzz of who he is and what he can do, the many gifts and qualities that he has. He encourages Buzz to see that he's loved, loved by Andy, and loved for who he is. And then for me, the key moment, Buzz listens and reflects upon his situation and turns his shoe upside down, and there he finds Andy's name. He comes to recognise that he's loved. He has a home. He may be lost, but someone is looking for him. Someone thinks he's worth looking for. He sees things clearly again, and he finds once more a sense of purpose, and he moves to help Woody out of the cart and to freedom from Sid's house. The most important lesson in life is to learn that we are loved for who we are. God loves each one of us regardless of what we've done or what we have achieved. As you leave this year and begin a new chapter, I want you to know more than anything that this is true and want to encourage you to help all others to find out this for themselves. For when we know that we are loved, nothing can stop us being who we are called to be. I wish you all every blessing over the summer and for the start of your new school year. Amen. And so let us pray. Throughout this term I've used the same closing prayer and I'm going to do the same again today. It's a prayer that asks for God to lead us and help us to grow into the person he wants us to be. And so I think this is most suitable for our service today. 
So let's keep a moment of quiet, perhaps reflecting upon this year and all that has brought us to this place. And we come to our closing prayer. Lord, lift us from darkness to light, from sickness to health, from distress to calm. Lift us, Lord, from sadness to joy, from fear to faith, from loneliness to love. Amen. Our closing song this afternoon is O Jesus, I Have Promised, which is a reminder that we are called to follow in the path of Jesus and to know that Jesus walks with us each and every day. We sing our closing hymn, Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always.